Hi everybody, this is Josh. In this video, I want to show you some of the recent features that you can use to create some very visually compelling content for your presentations and documents in Google Drive's suite of applications. If you've used Keynote or PowerPoint before, you know you can have a drop shadow, maybe on a piece of text or an object, or a reflection. And those features have been available for some time. Well, it's exciting to see them come to Google Drive. And I just want to show you where to find them, how to access them, how to use them, and how to get some really good professional looking results. So I'm just in a Google Slides document right now. I'm going to delete some of this filler content and I'm going to insert some word art. So up in the insert menu, I'm going to go to word art and let's just type in drop shadow. And I'm going to change the font to something I like a little better. And I'm going to take off the outline or the border, make that transparent. And I want to show you one of the uses for drop shadows right away. Maybe I like this color for the text, but on this white background, it doesn't stand out very well. It's not very readable. It needs more contrast. And so, of course, I could change the color of the text. But there's another way that you can add contrast now. If I go under Format Options, you'll see this menu panel fly out from the right-hand side. And we've got simply two options here, drop shadow and reflections. We can twirl these down to get more options. As soon as I click on drop shadow, it's going to apply a drop shadow to my text. Any of the selected objects that can um, have a drop shadow, this could be applied to them. So you could have multiple things selected and just click drop shadow and add a drop shadow to everything. So what I want to show you here is we've got some controls to adjust your drop shadow exactly how you like it. I like mine to be a little bit more subtle. We have uh, controls for the angle, the distance. You see, as I now change the angle, we can see that more obviously change where that drop shadow is falling. The blur radius, this is how soft the, the shadow is, how much it blends in with the uh, objects underneath it. And the transparency how much we can see through that object. If I bring it down, it's going to become more and more black. And as I make it more transparent, it's more see-through. I can make it very, very soft. We can also change the color, which means we can use this also as a glow. So I'm going to dial in some settings here that I like. Maybe right about there. And you can see now this is much more readable than it was before. So if I change the color of the background, let's make it a radial gradient. I'll make it blue. And now you can see how that interacts with the slide, the background behind it, and anything else that this might be sitting on top of. I'm going to hold control and drag a copy and just turn off the drop shadow so you can see the difference that just the drop shadow can make here. Look how much more depth that drop shadow adds. That's pretty nice. You could tweak that and adjust it even further if you like. I'm going to create a new slide by duplicating this one. And I'm going to take my text here even further. Let's add a reflection. And we can use both of these in combination to create some very, very nice polished looking effects. I'm going to make my drop shadow just a little bit more subtle, bringing down the distance, bringing down the blur radius and making it more transparent, something like that. And our reflection as well, we have granular controls, transparency, how much we can see through it, distance, how far it falls from the object that you're applying it to. So if you wanted to have it like sitting on a glass surface, this is kind of making our slide look like it has a glossy finish. And we can change the distance to create like a parallax effect that you see like if something is sitting on a, a glass table. And the size will be how much of that object uh, flows into the the background uh, or surface that it's sitting on. 
once you're done making all your changes, you can just simply close this X. And now we have something that it's all in one object. These are just effects that are applied to it. And we can create something that's really, really high end looking. One more thing that we can do is combine the gradients, uh, gradient fill, which is also pretty recent uh, addition in Google Slides. And I'm going to choose this white linear gradient. And you can see that the reflection also changed. So it's actually mirroring the, 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 the properties of the object. So if we change its color drastically, you see that our reflection also changes. Makes it very, very easy and quick to achieve some very polished looking results. So this would work great for some section headings or titles in your presentation or something that you really want to uh, pop out. Use them subtly for the most professional results. And I think that you'll be able to create something really cool. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.